Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your end of the year forecast. Um, I usually do this um, every year, so I have a little bit of extra time so to get these readings in for you guys. So we're going to be exploring the energies of September, October, November, and December. I got a bunch of different oracle cards here along with the tarot. So let us get into it and see what is going on. This is for Gemini. Gemini, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Gemini, let us see what is going to be your energy for the end of the year. Gemini's end of the year forecast, September... October. All right. We have outside influences and we have blame. So somebody's kind of getting into your business here, right? Um, and I don't think they see exactly what they're doing. I feel like this is an ex energy trying to interfere uh, with your current or soon to be relationship so this may prove to be a little complicated um they are not they're having a hard time taking the blame for their actions so a lot of people in your business especially the x energy that's what i'm seeing um maybe yours maybe theirs maybe both so let's set this over here and see what is going on this is for gemini is for Gemini. What can Gemini expect for their end of the year reading? This is for Gemini. September, October, November, and December. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So very strong law of attraction card. I do feel like this is somebody new coming in that you're going to be very passionate about. They're really going to get you going here, Gemini, and vice versa on that. Um, you got you got hope that this is going to work out. It's just too bad that we've got these people trying to get in your business here and destroy a happy moment, right? I feel like this is jealousy. This is somebody not accepting their part in past relationships. They can't handle people moving on, whether it's your ex, their ex, their ex or both, okay? So um, they're just trying to stop this situation from happening right but i just don't feel like you're going to allow it right we're both very hopeful that this passion is going to continue and grow into something uh more so let's see what else this is for gemini this is for gemini what does Gemini need to know for the end of the year? September, October, November, December. This is for Gemini. This is for Gemini. We have honesty and we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this passionate connection may start off as a friendship and it grows and grows and grows. Um... That's a distinct possibility. This could be somebody, you know, these outside influences can basically try every trick in the book. They may use one of your, I want to say one of your friends to find out information here. That's a distinct possibility. They're definitely wanting to interfere. Here's the key to you and this person, you and this passionate connection, however the two of you meet, whatever the under whatever circumstances, and this is honesty, okay? Um, because there are outside influences that are going to try to ruin this connection. So honesty, we got to be 100% with each other and let, you know, each other know what's going on. I 
I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it for myself. I feel like there's a lot of gossiping going on. I feel like there's a lot of people talking about you and this person. So just be careful here. I feel like it all stems from X energy. All right. So if, if we can just be open and honest with each other, I feel like there's nothing going to be able, no one going to be able to stop this passionate connection from growing. Okay. So let's see what else. Let's pull some tarot. This is for Gemini. End of the year forecast. Gemini, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon rising or your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini for the end of the year? What is the energy around Gemini for the end of the year? Okay. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with strong Sagittarius in their chart. Um, this person is um, wanting to reconnect with you. You, on the other hand, are trying to heal. You're trying to find your balance again and you're wanting to move forward, right? Um, this passionate connection, and be straight up, um, is not coming in until December here, all right? Uh, but this, this is going to be... A situation where this X energy is struggling to let you go here, Gemini, and they are going to try to cause interference into um, this new passionate connection. But man, this new passionate connection could really, really go somewhere. So this is going to get a little bit um, complicated right? They, this, this past energy, and it could be theirs, it could be yours, it could be both of yours. I'm going to read it like it's yours. Um, they're seeing you heal. They're seeing you get back on your feet. They're seeing you move forward. They're seeing you look out into the future. And then you're going to start, um, you know, being really infatuated with some new flame here. And they're going to try to sabotage that. That's what I'm seeing here. And you cannot let that happen. And the other person cannot let that happen. The key is open and honest communication. That is the key. So the past is definitely going to try to reconnect. And they're going to continue to try to reconnect with you. All right. Um, I feel like with this friendship, I feel like you've tried to maybe put them in the friend zone. Maybe um, try in, and say, you know, we can just be friends. That's not, or maybe they say, you know, I, we can just, you know, I just want to be friends with you. I just don't want to lose that connection. Um, maybe they've said that to you. That's for some of you, not all of you, but it just doesn't work that way with this person. They want more, 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 more. And the reason that they're doing that is because they're trying to hinder you from moving forward. If that does resonate with you. So they do want to reconnect here with you, Gemini. You, on the other hand, are finding your balance again and healing. They can't move past you. This person's very obsessed. Um, very obsessed. So they there's no moving on from you. Eight of Swords, right? They can't seem to break free to you. They feel very bound to you, right? Um surrounded by thoughts of you here eight of swords that's air energy i feel like um 
couple of different things with this card, with this page of pentacles. I feel like the past person is going to reach out. I feel like, hey, how you doing? It's, you know, just some sort of little communication, probably through a text, you know, all the time, just trying to test the waters here, but there's so much behind this. I feel like when December rolls around and this new energy comes in, they may be a little bit on the um, shy side at first. I feel like you may meet them through possible work or, or work-related connection or something like that. Um, but it's going to be nice. It's a very sincere communication here. Um, and it's like they're very, um, they're very real. So that's very good. All right. So page of pentacles, that's earth. I feel like the September, October, November, you're still kind of dealing with this X energy here. Okay. Right. And I feel like, uh, you're you're still in the healing process of that but trust and believe you are you you will heal from that because you look really good here gemini so four of cups refusing the refusing the past we just don't want nothing to do it too much has happened and we're just preparing healing and preparing so that's very very good all right so let's see what's going on here um I just see just a few pinnacles here. Um, it looks pretty good. I, I'm going to give you a little financial brief just real quick before we continue on with um, this relationship reading here. Um, I do see some sort of opportunity coming in with this page of pinnacles. I do see that. Um, a little um, opportunity, a little bit of an advancement, some sort of news coming in. And I do believe that that's going to be very, very good news because I feel like in the month of September, you're kind of worried about finances. But rest assured, this is just a worry. I do feel like you may be um, in some sort of creative endeavor and get news about that. But it's good news. So this is just a worry. Things are going to be moving just fine and I feel like by the time October rolls around here you are you may quit one situation to get a, a better financial situation you may leave something that's not fulfilling you to and and you're around like sneaky type people to kind of do your own thing and be very independent um, so you may like start your own business or go into something very creative, something that you're very passionate about, and it's going to be very lucrative for you. So that's amazing, right? Something that you actually enjoy because wherever you've been, you've been worried about money and um, it's, leave, it's leaving you feel like it's, you, you're, you're not into it. It's just draining you right? It's not emotionally fulfilling. Your soul is not fulfilled wherever you're at. So creativity, definitely a possibility, something that you're going to enjoy and be passionate about. And it's going to bring you some nice returns because you're going to be counting your coins here, Gemini. So that looks really good. And I feel like that's going to flow through, um, the, the rest of the year. All right. So in regards to this situation, because this ex is not letting go, right? They're having a hard time walking away here. They feel very shut out for, from you. They feel lost. They feel alone. Um, and they simply don't want to be without you. They can't move on from you. Uh, definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. They're still very much passionate about you. And they're still going to try to contact you with this page of wands and this page of pentacles. So um, I still feel like that's weighing heavy on you. This person is just trying to prevent you from moving forward and healing. They're just kind of standing in your way here, causing interference, interference, interference. October, um, you know, it's just so, it's, 
so draining for you. You may have, you know, entertained the idea of giving this person a chance. And if that was the case, um, they, they're still a taker. They're still a liar. They're still a cheat, to be quite blunt. Um, seven of swords, that's air energy. And you're just kind of thoroughly walking away from them and doing your own thing. They can't handle that, Gemini. They absolutely cannot handle you being out there single and ready to mingle. They can't do it. Um, and they see you um, as, you know, standing on your own two feet, got your stuff together and just doing your own thing. And they're having a hard time with that. But it's not really changing their behavior at all. Um, they just want to cause interference. They want to be in your business. They need to know everything about you, that kind of thing. So here in November, right, this person um, is still, I feel strongly with, with these threes here, I feel like you kind of broke away from this person because of a third party situation. I, it's a lot of energies involved here. Um, so they still watch you. They're still obsessed about you. And, um, um, you know, I feel like they chose the wrong, I feel like they chose the wrong way to go. Um, like the grass, the grass wasn't greener. Um, and they still obsess about you and they can't move on from you. And, and you're very much in their head. Uh, but you have clearly turned your back on them and that breaks their heart, right? Uh, because they can't get back in there. They do want to try though, and I still feel like they're going to try, interfere, interfere, interfere. But you're looking out into the future. You've turned your back on this person, right? You've turned your back on them and you're moving on. And that's just the way it is. I guess they, you know, and some of you say, well, they can't watch me because I've blocked them or I will be blocking them. But let me tell you something about spying. Are you cross watching? Um, they may get readings about you. Um, they, if they live close, they may drive past your house. They could hire a private detective. Uh, the list goes on and on. If you want information about somebody, you can. And in regards to social media, they may have mutual friends that they can jump on and see your stuff. Not only that, but they can make fake accounts. So if there's a will, there's a way. God knows. All right. So in the month of December, well, there's something absolutely amazing coming in. Okay. Absolutely amazing coming in. A new flame. We're going to, you know, passion here. Passion, passion upon passion with that Ace of Wands and this passion card. Um, potential for commitment and the lines of communication are open. So kind of if you want it, it's there. But the only way this is going to work, Gemini, is if you are very open and honest about this X situation. And if they're experiencing the same type of energy where they've got an obsessed X, um, they're going to have to be very open and honest with you because um, when people are obsessed like this, they're going to try to infiltrate. They're going to try to sabotage. If you know, they don't want to see you happy with anybody else. They want you to be right there with them, um, you know, crying about them, waiting for them, waiting for the phone, that type of stuff. Very narcissistic type of behavior you may have been dealing with here um, September, maybe in a little bit into October. Um, but it's they're still going to try to come around, come around, come around. And they just, you know, do that because of control issues and their ego and things like that. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay, so you assign the roles as you wish. Um, honesty is going to be the best way to go, right? If we want this situation, this new flame to go anywhere. Otherwise, things could get a little bit um, tricky, especially when these outside influences, these obsessed X type energies are trying to interfere in your business. Okay. All right, so it looks good, but you've got yourself quite the X energy here. 
All right, so, and maybe they do too. But new flame coming in that could really go somewhere here in the month of December. We're going to see what you need to be concentrating on here, Gemini. This is for Gemini. What does Gemini need to be concentrating on? This is for Gemini. Gemini. We have dance and we have create art. Don't let anything stop you here. Enjoy your life. Get out there, meet new people, have some fun. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing and this ex can't take it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of frustration here in regards to this person, Gemini, okay? Um, so I feel like creative expression is most definitely going to help you to relieve some of that stress. Not only that, but this create art, like I was saying in kind of the financial portion here at the beginning, some sort of creative creative career that you're going to have an outlet you're really going to enjoy and it's going to be very lucrative for you so please go ahead and do that um, very passionate when we're looking at this through financial uh, a financial mindset you know the the king of wands is very creative very passionate and and this is creativity this is passion something that you're very passionate about so Whatever this is that's making that's going to make you happy and fulfill your soul fine and emotionally, it's also going to fulfill you financially as well. So please, whatever that is, it could be writing, drawing, it could be podcasting, I mean whatever, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, for God's sake, do it. All right. So let's pull you some little cards here to see what kind of other information we can get for you Gemini for your end of the year forecast we have retreat never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment and I feel like that's what you're going to be doing here um, these first couple of months like September October you're just going to be really healing from i I just want to say like a narcissistic type of behavior from this person, right? And then we have courage. When picking roses, don't fear the thorns. And I feel like you standing very strong and independent here in the month of October is going to lead you down a lot of new um, paths. You're going to start looking towards the future. We're getting into some sort of creative project that's going to be making you money. And you're going to have the courage um, to explore this new flame, this passionate new flame that comes in because it's got potential. Gemini, it's got potential. And you know what a thorn is and um, you know the difference now between a thorn and a rose. So I feel like you're going to really dig this new energy coming in for you. So very good here, Gemini. Um, yeah, just open and honest communication with this new flame so that the the obsessed exes can't penetrate the situation they can't interfere they can't stop this from happening right nothing's going to stop you here gemini good things coming all right gemini i hope that resonates with all of you some of you most of you and like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on instagram facebook and twitter and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, next week, I am currently preparing the um, September 2020 monthly readings. I am having some surgery next week, so I will be scheduling those out. Um, I'm going to get as much content up for you all as I can. It will be scheduled, so keep that in mind. It's... Um, a routine surgery that's kind of necessary and hopefully I will be back the following week to do the how do they feel about you readings <laughs> so it's going to be a wild week for me um, I hope you guys are having 
a beautiful week and you take very good care of yourself. For those of you that are new to the channel, I do have a live schedule and a weekly schedule. The live schedule um, will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day but um, Saturday. So you all take good care of yourself. And I will talk to you very soon, Gemini. Okay? God bless.